Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. I am sitting outside of my WW workshop. I'm gonna go in, my girlfriend is here from San Diego and after our workshop, we're gonna go on a big hike in Idaho, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous hike. So I am here at my workshop. I wanted to fill you guys in on this last week. So I ended up not doing the Wendy plan. This last week was extremely difficult, extremely busy. Like I've mentioned, I have a lot of things going on in my personal life. So this last week, kind of everything came to a head. Lots of changes transpired over the week. So it was definitely, definitely a rough, rough week. No way I could have done the Wendy plan. And really, I wasn't on plan a lot of the week, to be completely honest with you. Um, I had some good days and I had some bad days, but overall, it wasn't that great of a week, unfortunately. So I don't know what's going to happen on the scale. I don't know. I'm hoping that I don't gain. Um, I'd be happy maintaining. So we'll just see kind of what what happens. This is one of those weeks where life just throws everything at you. And no matter what you do, you can't seem to catch a break. That's kind of how I felt this week. So my eating and my plan kind of got put on the back burner. I know that it's no excuse and I get that. Um, this is a lifestyle, not just a diet for me, which we all, you know, I've preached that, but sometimes life just gets in the way and that's what happened this last week. So I'm hoping that this next week, actually, I know this next week I'll be on track. My girlfriend's here. We have our menu planned out. She also does WW where she lives. So we've got everything planned out and we should be good to go for this upcoming week. It's just this last week was a bit of a struggle. So we'll see what happens when I hop on the scale. Good news about this last week is I did walk four days. I got a ton of steps almost every day of the week between walking and just doing things around the house. So yeah, I'm grateful for that. The exercise went really well. The food needed a little bit of work. So this next week should be much, much better. I am feeling kind of blah, you know, a little bit bloated, which I'm sure is because of just some of the food choices that I made. So again, I'm moving on to a new week, but let's see what happens when I step on the scale. So I'll be back to give you a, not only a recap of this week's workshop, but let you know what happened when I stepped on the scale. So I'll see you guys shortly. guys, I'm out of my WW workshop and I am at Starbucks now with my girlfriend. I'm actually going to go and upload this video really quick before we head out to do our hike. Sorry, I'm turning my car off. So we went to WW. Okay, once again, and you guys know I say this all the time, WW was on point with their topic because as you know, I mentioned before I went in that I had a little bit of a struggle this last week. Not so much with the activity, that was really good, but with the food. So WW's topic this week was turning it around. How to turn around something negative in your journey to something positive in your journey. So they want to share with you some tips and tricks on how to turn around not only your attitude, your mindset, and your journey in general. So what do you do when you see a gain on the scale besides get upset? What do you do to turn that around to make it so that next week you don't have a gain on the scale? So the first tip is commit yourself to tracking your next two meals. Now don't be overzealous and say, I'm going to track every bite that goes into my mouth this entire week. That's awesome. But don't overcommit and under deliver. So it's best that you just say to yourself, I'm going to guarantee commit myself to tracking my next two meals to honestly tracking my next two meals. I'm going to make sure that what I eat for the next two meals is put into my tracker, honestly, to the penny, to the point. That's the first step in turning around any type of gain or negative vibe from the scale. Next is amp up your activity. So I've been walking four days a week, so that's great. But what about upping the intensity of my walks? Maybe doing a route that includes some more hills. If you're lifting weights at the gym, maybe upping your weights. If you're doing cardio at the gym, maybe upping the intensity. You can also 
up the time that you're doing an activity. So if you are a 30 minute a day walker, bump it up to 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever time permits for you during the day. It's best when you want to kind of turn things around on the scale is bump up your activity level, whether it's the intensity or the time, burn some extra calories, gets you in better shape, and it should help turn around the results on the scale as well. Next, self-reflect. This is huge, you guys. Ask yourself, what did I learn from the gain on the scale? What did I do wrong this last week that I can learn from that can help me next week so I don't have a gain on the scale? So really self-reflect and think about what you did that caused you to be where you are. And whatever those things are, change them. If you can't change all of them, change a few of them. That's where it goes back to track tracking your next two meals, bumping up your activity a little bit, make small changes that can make a big impact on the scale the next time that you weigh in. And number four, and probably the most important, attend your workshop. Don't skip your workshop. Don't skip your weigh-in. Don't stay in bed instead of going to your workshop because you know that you may not have positive results on the scale. It is so incredibly important to go to your workshop. Like I've said a thousand times, the topic at the workshop always resonates with me. I, I'm always glad that I went to the workshop. I always learn something. It always kind of jumpstarts my excitement about the program. It jumpstarts my mindset. And like I've said as well, sometimes you need the workshop and sometimes the workshop needs you. So on those weeks that you're struggling, on those weeks that you gain, that's when you need the workshop. So don't skip the workshop. Go, go, go learn and set yourself up for success by giving yourself that boost in your mindset at your workshop. It is such a wonderful, loving, giving place. Don't skip it. So essentially you're creating an action plan for the next week. You're not only working on your mindset, you're turning around your thinking, you're turning around your food, you're tracking your next two meals. You're basically setting yourself up for success. You're creating an action plan that will lead you to having a successful week that will then lead you to having a successful weigh-in. So I am taking my own advice, you guys, and that is what I am doing this week. So today is the day that I will be using my weeklies. It's Friday. We are having a little get together at my house tonight, but I'm still going to be mindful of what I'm eating. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm really going to stay within my weeklies and my dailies so that I have shifted my mindset and turned around things on the scale for this next week. So that's the importance of going to the workshop as well. It just really helps change things into a positive light for you. So speaking of the workshop, let's move into this week's weigh-in. So when I stepped on the scale, I was happy but not. I actually stayed exactly the same this week. I didn't lose. I didn't gain. Yes, that's a good thing that I didn't gain considering my eating or some of my eating this last week, but it's not good because I'm not on this journey to maintain. I'm on this journey to lose weight. So this is where I need to turn things around for myself and really think about what I did this last week that caused me to maintain. I can tell you it wasn't my activity. I feel like I did really well on my activity, although I am going to be upping that. I'm going to be going on several hikes this weekend, which is definitely upping my activity. I'm going to continue to walk. I may bump up the time a little bit, take an extra route, part of my route, maybe a few extra blocks get in a few extra steps every day. But my problem honestly was food. I did not make the best food choices. I was really hungry this last week. Like I've mentioned, there's a lot going on in my life. A lot of changes that started this last week. Good changes. It's just changes. So it's stressful. My mind wasn't focused 100% on my pro my program, my journey, which it should have been. That should never derail you from your journey. But we're human beings. And sometimes the things that happen in our life derail us from our journey. And that's what happened to me this last week. But it is a new week. It is Friday. And I am on track. I am so excited for this upcoming week. I I feel it. I feel it in my soul that I'm going to have a good way in next week. So I'm going to continue on happily this week. And I'm probably going to give the Wendy plan another shot. And it may be next week. It's just a little tough with my girlfriend here. It's hard for me to really be cognizant and be directly on the points I need to be on the Wendy plan. So maybe next week I will incorporate back in the Wendy plan. But I'm, I'm happy with my mindset. I feel good. I feel like I'm in a positive frame of mind moving forward this next week so that I don't have a gain or see another maintain on the scale. So I'm going to include the recipe on the back of the weekly here at the end of the video. You guys seem to like that and this recipe actually looks really good. So I want to hear how your guys' week went. Was your week what you thought? 
If it wasn't, are you ready to turn it around and shift things this week to make it a good week? Did you gain? Did you lose? How do you feel about your last week? If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Welcome to my YouTube friends and family. It is such a wonderful, wonderful place to be on your journey. We are here to help you and support one another. It's a positive, happy place, which is exactly what you need to turn things around and be in a positive mindset on your journey. Make sure you hit that little notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload thumbs up this video again comment down below let me know how your week went thank you guys for watching thank you for always being my cheerleaders let's kick this next week in the butt see you in the next one bye guys